So, meine Damen und Herren, dann machen wir weiter mit der nächsten Folge. Wir sind immer noch in WrestleMania 31. Ending his quest for victory. A statement win for Randy Orton, but Seth Rollins wasn't done yet. Later that same evening, Brock Lesnar would take part in a match that had another surprising conclusion. The WWE World Heavyweight Champion, Brock had used his victory over Undertaker at WrestleMania 30 to get a championship match against John Cena at SummerSlam 2014, taking the title from Cena in a scary display of dominance. Since that victory, Brock had steamrolled everyone put in front of him, including an impressive defense of the title at the 2015 Royal Rumble against both Cena and Seth Rollins. It did not matter who stood across from Lesnar, he was going to eat, sleep, Suplex repeat his way to victory after victory. Roman Reigns capitalized on his growing momentum by winning the 2015 Royal Rumble, punching his ticket to take on the WWE World Heavyweight Champion at WrestleMania 31. The future tribal chief knew that he was destined to become WWE World Heavyweight Champion, showing no fear or intimidation in the presence of Lesnar. In a completely unexpected twist, something took place during that match that turned everything upside down. A one-on-one -on -one contest became a triple threat. To tell us more about what some consider to be the greatest cash-in ever, we have the visionary himself, Seth Rollins. For WWE superstars, for myself especially, WrestleMania is everything. We work year-round, tirelessly, grinding, sacrificing. Every year you get ready to put on the best show. You want everything to peak at the right time because you know that that moment is going to be the most watched, witnessed moment of the entire year. And if you do it right, you can create something that's bigger than you and in some ways transcends our entire industry. I had my sights set on the main event of WrestleMania for some time, though. Uh, I just needed the... Vividly was that Lesnar didn't immediately go for the pin. Some people think it was respectful, you know? Like, Roman's not done yet. I saw it as Lesnar not wanting to let Reigns off the hook so easy. Brock Lesnar was out to humiliate Roman Reigns. He's hurt, so keep hurting him.
Mann, ich muss sechsmal die Scheißtaste drücken. Ja, Diggi, greif ihn doch noch weiter von 30 Meter weiter Entfernung. It was going exactly head inside, somehow kicking out at two. For the first time in the entire match, Brock Lesnar seemed at a loss as to what to do next. Would he just have to hit F5 after F5 until Roman stayed down? Everyone in the stadium thought Roman was done after that F5. He was showing us all exactly what he was made of, and it was clearly starting to frustrate a once supremely confident Brock Lesnar. Falsches. Ja, ich drück nach oben. Lesnar completely stunned as Seth walked out the new champion. Michael Cole called it the heist of the century. It's the greatest cash in that Money in the Bank has ever produced. So, ich gehe kurz einmal aufs Klo, mach mir einen Kaffee, sag danke fürs Zugucken und bis zur nächsten Folge.